just how you planned it Life could put you in a pickle, just make sure it's kosher Lean on me like real witness until you smell the roses What's happening fam? LAR movement still moving Subscribe or die trying, you see the thumbnail man The culture of forgetting your culture, that's pretty much American culture Um, I was thinking about it because you know I thought back to the times when people were going, you know, black folks or black Americans, FBA, whatever you want to call it, ADOS, you don't have a culture. Now that's what years ago people kept saying that, but we always pushed back. Well, a lot of us pushed back. I can't say we all did, and we always did, but we pushed back. And, you know, recently in the last year or so, they had the CRT debate, the critical race theory and why why I shouldn't be taught in schools and this, that, and the third. And part of the, the reasoning mm, that it should be taught was to, to, to tell people the true history of America, you know, not the fluff that's, that, that people get in history books and then you turn around and become college age or sometimes even in high school or, or adult or young adult and you come to find out the rest of history, and you go, what? And I thought about it, I said, you know, the thing about being an American is all of you people, all of us Americans are really taught to not have a culture or forget our things that are particular of our culture because America is a, is a capitalistic, opportunistic society. So um, most people don't have their culture. Like, I can only say, um, I would say us, to a, us and probably Jewish people and Native Americans have kept closest to it. But even we've had issues. And people might say, what do you mean? Well, you have Native Americans who, there are reservations, even though they have a lot of $5 Indian involvement. You get what I'm saying? They still do their cultural things. They don't necessarily participate in the America we live in. Um, the Jewish community, like I say, kept their culture because the Holocaust happened. So it's 2023 right now. So almost not, like the end was it was like 90 years ago, or close to 90 years ago. So you got grandparents and great grandparents who who made it their business to pass down the culture. So, you know, maybe in a generation or two, you might see people getting away from it. But we've seen people, because people have to go through oppressions to, to, to keep their culture or to maintain it or to pass it down or this, that, and the third, or to even respect it. Because I remember when Tom Hanks um, found out about the... Um, what do you call that? The the da, 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 uh, Tulsa race riots, Black Wall Street. And he didn't really he didn't know that really happened in America. And I'm like, what? How did you know that? And then I thought about when you hear people. I've heard a, a, a few Hispanic people in my time, a few Asians in my time. When I say a few, I'm just just you know. Their kids, you know, they they may be, their parents might have been first generation, but their kids are American. Heard the same thing with, with Africans and Caribbeans. It's like, you know, and if they go back to their homeland, they're not considered, you know, um, whatever ethnicity or region that they're from, they're not considered that as much by the, the, the local people there. Now, I can say the same for myself. Like, <laughs> even though I was born in New Orleans, and that's, quote, unquote, my culture and where I come from, because I moved, um, I ain't, you know, I ain't as New Orleans as somebody who's been there their whole life. And I don't care because I moved, you know. But but I got I got pieces of New Orleans and Chicago, a little bit of the DMV, you know. So it's like, it, I get it's amalgamation. And I get how along the way people forget, you know, what where they come from or, or, or who they come from. And another reason is, that I say, you know, it's about forgetting because 
the idea of being American. You're an American. You know, the people who strive to be Americans, you know, purposely kind of forget their culture. They, they kind of shy away from it. You know, and that's why I brought up like us, uh, Native Americans and Jewish people. They're kind of really the only groups that aren't really shying away from, you know, or, or trying to just be American. It's not really our thing. Um, so we pass down more, but you can see increasingly people in, in, in all these cultures want to assimilate more and more. But these other folks, you know, I've seen people you lose their native language, they can't relate, and that goes across the board. Like, uh, I remember, how can I say this? I don't want to, hmm. I'll say it this way. My grandmother, my great-grandmother only spoke French. My grandmother could understand French, but she didn't speak it. I, but she don't know nothing. You get what I'm saying? My parents don't know nothing. But that was like New Orleans culture from, you know, 100 years ago to, you know, maybe 60. You know, so 60 years ago, it was it was understood. Now it's not. But I see that with other people. I see white people. Well, we're Dutch and we're German and we're this. But they don't, you know, where did your people actually come from? They don't know. And I thought about that also when it came to People talking that, um, you know, my family never owned slaves. It's like, okay, so, yeah, okay. So it's, it's, you can go that far back to say that, because was it Ben Affleck didn't know that his family owned slaves or something like that? And he's like, what? You know, and other, other celebrities didn't know it. And, but at the same time, you, you know, people keep memorabilia from, from everything around. So you got some families who have the, the, the clan memorabilia memorabilia and some people who don't you know some people who just pushed away things like I don't know we don't know what happened in this family you know and all of these last names that don't line up like if you look at the history of uh, Luther Vandross because people go I've never heard of a van you know even black people they ain't never met a, another Vandross and it's like Vanderus you know but that was the the, la the name of the quote unquote slave owner so it's so like a lot of people either forget their culture on purpose or they, you know, or they just lose it along the way. Because even in, a, in using a white reference, when people go, people used to go, you know who my father is, you know who my family is. You don't hear that anymore, you like, for the most part. You know, it, it, it just translated into I'm white, you get what I'm saying? So, because people who are Irish, they say they're Irish, but how far back do they go? that they knowingly know, you know. They say they're English, but how far? They say they're Russian, but how far? You get what I'm saying? So a lot of times everybody just to be in this country to become American, you just dump your culture at the door and really you need people from your homeland to come back to introduce you to your culture over and over again. So that's just my opinion. Um, but tell me what you think. Because sometimes... I say this before I go. A lot of people get ashamed of their culture for some odd reason. I don't understand it. So they try to brush it off to the side. And then, then when they get proud of it again, you basically have somebody who's in the culture to come and teach you your culture. So now I'm done. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die, try, and catch you on the next one. Peace.